Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. But if this is your first time visiting, welcome to Sempre Infinitos DIY. Today I would like to share with you how I made a carrot cake loaf. Just the other day I was at Home Goods and I came across these paper loaf pens and I have never used them before so I was kind of curious to see how well they would work. So let's begin. So I'm going to be making two loaves of carrot cake. One is going to be plain and the other is going to have icing. So whenever I use foam sealant in my cupcakes, I like to use small pebbles and that helps it keep it flat on the bottom and also from rising too high. Because I am using this cardboard for the first time, I have no idea what's gonna happen. So I chose not to because since it's thicker than your cupcake liner, I figured I did not need it to. Well, this is what happened. It shrunk and it actually became very puffy, but I was fine with that. The only thing I did was uh, I cut the sides of it to make it more of a loaf shape. And then I uh, went in there and I started painting my loaf. I'm going to be using two different colors of brown. First one, I'm going to paint it a golden brown and the second one, it's going to be a melted chocolate color. So, like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the entire uh, loaf of bread. Now, because the one that I'm gonna be adding the icing to it, it is totally up to you if you choose to or if you don't. Uh, but because I'm gonna do the first one, I am gonna paint the whole thing. And to be honest with you, I went ahead and actually did it to both of them because I wasn't sure how my icing was gonna come out. And later, I will tell you why. Uh, so here I'm just going to paint it. I'm going to let it dry for a bit and then I'm going to go in with the melted chocolate color and I am going to do is a dry brushing technique to it. I just want to come in here real quick off subject and just want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers and to everyone who has been continuing to support me and and my small channel thank you so much guys and well it's still small but it's getting there so thank you so much again for all of your support so after putting it inside a pan and this is why i chose to leave it plain because i like how it looks it looks so realistic so this is the one that i'm just going to not add the icing to it i am going to still do the um, brownish technique to it where it looked like it was slightly over toasted or cooked actually baked is the word uh, so this is where i'm going to be doing the dry brushing so very simple to do this all you do is just get some paint on your brush and then dab that paint off of, on a piece of uh, napkin and then go in uh, make sure that it's dry and just go in there and start giving small strokes uh, wherever you want your darker color to be at uh, because I want it to look like it was slightly toasted uh, I went ahead and just started dabbing wherever the little bumps or the lumps were at and again that's going to give it that realistic look I sliced a piece of the loaf cake because I wanted to look like someone was about to eat that. And I used the same color to paint the inside, which was the golden brown. Then I used crafter's glue to seal uh, the corn cob bedding in place. And that's going to be mimicking the nuts in my carrot cake. And also I used this pumpkin uh, color. And that's going to be mimicking um, pieces of carrot. Now, my idea was to use a lightweight spackle for the icing. When I saw how thick and I just didn't like how it came out. So I wiped the whole thing off and it left this pieces of white color on there. It, it was a, it almost looked like white mountain bread and I kind of did like it, but I, if you ever have white mountain bread, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I just said, you know what, I need to find something else for the icing. And that's when I saw that I had some white caulking. And that was, it is way much better for icing, you know. Um, keep in mind, you know, that I am not a professional. A lot of these things are the very first time that I'm trying, uh, you know, trying to figure out myself. 
Uh, and like I've said before, I, I love challenges. So I challenge myself a lot to try to figure things out. You know, how do you do something? And when I do it, I find so much joy in it. You know, I don't know if you guys ever go through that or not, you know, but it's just like, to me, it's, it's a good thing. So this is the caulking that I have found in my stash. And I went ahead and mixed it up with some white because I did use caulking before and it gave it more of a grayish color and i really didn't like that so i used the caulking and i used some white and i mixed it now i added way too much paint in there uh so i kind of figured you know let me add some of the cornstarch in there and mix it up and i just mixed until it gave me that consistency of of icing so all I did here is just went ahead and spread it all over my bread also on the slice of uh, the slice of piece of bread that I have there laying I did let it dry and then I went in back and I added some um, glossy uh, oh my goodness I don't remember it's like varnish cut uh, and there uh, added some varnish and that gave it that shine uh, you can use um, mod podge if you have that uh but uh, since i had some of the varnish i just chose to and it was actually glossy bon varnish so i just chose to stay with that and it's been some days now and it's the shine is still there so it actually looks so real I, i'm telling you i'm just gonna have to keep an eye on people making sure that it, they don't try to take a bite <laughs> because i'm not really a baker <laughs> but anyway so yeah i mean it, it was a challenge like i said you know for the icing part but once i got it packed down i was happy uh i did have some of it left and i did you know seal it so i'm going to go back and see how long that will last like that i don't know once it's out this tube does it like last for a couple of hours and then it dries uh, it dries up or does it actually last a little bit longer to be honest with you i have not checked it recently and it's been i would say about a week since i did this so yeah um but yeah you know this was really easy uh and i hope you guys you know get inspired and try it out yourself okay so here it is it is done uh, like i said you know this looks so realistic to me i am going to leave it out and hope that no one believes that it's actually true i mean that is real because otherwise they're going to expect me to start baking <laughs> and i'm not a baker <laughs> so anyway so this one i chose to add the icing and then this is the one that i just chose to leave it plain because i do have other breads that i like to display in my kitchen so this i can just add it to that and i can also have this out uh most of all year around and not just holidays so here is the little uh containers where i added the rest of the icing so i'm just going to see how long that will last i'm hoping that it'll last a little longer but anyways my friends this is the end of the video thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate every single one of you and until the next time stay safe be kind bye